Watch the deep middle safety, guys. As soon as he stops his feet, chops his feet like that, we are bombing over the top. Pass lead that up and away. Thing that you say about me, my dogs like to play mad in 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South. What is going on, YouTube King Reggie? And we are back today. We are going to be continuing my NCAA inspired offense out of the spread playbook. Now today we're going to be going over two setups, guys. The first setup is going to be a really unique cover three beat. We're going to be attacking the defense in a really different way, and then the other one's going to be a really nice setup. You know get behind deep zone drops and really work well off the cover three beater. Now, before we get into that, guys, I'm going to leave a few links in the description. I'm going to leave my TikTok and my Twitter. Go follow me on those. And then I'm also going to link my Discord server, guys. Getting pretty active in there. Going to make a really cool community in that. So definitely go join that. And then I'm going to leave a playlist for the whole scheme for this offense, guys. After this video, go check that out, especially the intro video to this scheme, guys. Video is very important. I go over the personnel we use, the abilities we use, and just kind of the general idea with this scheme. And then also have a really nice run out so far, some nice passes, and then a few other runs in that intro video. So go check that out after this. Today, we're going over two setups. Like I said, the first setup is going to be out of flex Y off. It is going to be PA seams dig. Now, if you guys are new to the scheme, guys, I'm running out of flex Y off, normal Y off off double offset weak and double offset basically the only difference is slight variations where the running back and tight end will line up so you're going to really work well off each other so flex y off and then we're also going to be in doubles offset for flanker spot now the reason why i kind of group these two plays together guys is this flanker spot and the pa seams dig work really well off each other we're going to have the exact same motion across the field and the flanker spot is really going to help us read and set up the cover three beater. They're going to really work well off each other for that reason. And same motion as a ton of our running plays. So this is really going to help us disguise what play we're going to. Really not going to give our opponent any tells. A lot of our plays have, you know, this slot receiver motioning across the formations, whether it's a pass or a run. And then this PA seems dig, guys, is very different than most cover three beaters. Most cover three beaters, we are reading the outside corner now we're actually going to be reading the middle safety so we're really going to just be attacking in a different way your opponent is not used to seeing and then flanker spot is really going to attack those deep zone drops and then give us some really nice options underneath that are going to put our opponent's user in a really tough spot okay let's get into the breakdown for pa seams dig okay pa seams digs guys the adjustment for this play we want the running back to the wide side of the field and then if we're using hot route master we want to put the slot receiver on a coach corner route and motion him over we want to motion snap him guys we want to snap him before he actually stops his motion so just kind of after he gets past the tight end snap him and then if no hot route master guys just motion this player over he's going to be on just you know a deep out route that is going to work almost as well i just like the corner route a little bit better if our cover three beater isn't there but it's not going to affect that beater itself now our reads guys if it's cover three watch the middle safety if he stays low in the middle of the field wait for the seam route to pass him then pass lead in and up so we want to pass lead this in and towards the middle of the field now like i said before now we're reading that middle safety and how you stop this play it's actually going to be stopped similar to other cover three beaters if they deep half their corner this safety will actually play further back and it won't be open but that is fine now we're just going to read that middle safety guys and a lot of the time your opponent really won't even know what happened all of a sudden their safety staying down and we're bombing them over the top now, if it's not cover three or the middle safety turns with the seam route, look to the corner route. Basically, if there's no, you know, curl flat defender getting out with that corner route, then I would throw that. Then look to the dig in the middle of the field. If there is a curl flat on that side, then I would look to the dig and then I would check down to the chip and release from the tight end. Really like this route too, because it's going to give us a little more time for the cover three beater to develop down the field. And then if it's not open, he's going to release into the flats and it's a really nice safety valve. All right. So let's get into the gameplay for PA Seams Dig. Okay, so here we got our guys. We put this guy on a corner route and we're motioning him across the field. Like I said, no hot route master. Doesn't matter. You don't need hot route master for either of these setups. It will work stock. So just motion him across the field then. Then there's basically no adjustments, just a motion. So right here, guys, snap the ball. We're going to watch this middle safety here and we're going to watch this seam route. He's going to go up the seam. And then when we see this middle safety guys just stop and he's just settling in that spot, then we know this is going to be wide open. We're just going to pass lead this up and away. We want to keep this away from the corner. 
pass lead this up into the middle of the field look at the middle safety guys just totally sticks down rack catch that and we go for an 80 yard bomb same thing motion over guys watch the middle safety rate on this play so here's our seam route coming from the other side this time right here guys as soon as i see the safety start to collect settle in the middle of the field we know this is going to be wide open i like to you know take a gather step up get a little higher in the pocket pass lead that up towards the middle of the field rack catch that that's another 60 yard bomb okay one more time guys same thing down three in the fourth quarter huge play in the game obviously about 60 yards out play action fake hold the user in the middle of the field watch the deep middle safety guys as soon as he stops his feet chops his feet like that we're bombing over the top pass lead that up and away rack catch that make a guy miss and that's basically a walk off beater okay guys same thing motion over now on this play we got our play action fake in and we see the safeties playing pretty far back and right away i notice they have a hard flat on the field and no curl flat out here so right away guys that is going to be wide open we're just going to take that check down fire that in that's just really easy okay motion gibson over guys snap the ball we see the safety playing deep playing deep so it really looks like he's gonna play over the top on this one we see the user jump to the trip side so this is where we have this nice dig in the middle of the field guys now we're just gonna keep it away from the user fire that in over the other player's head who i think he had a qb spy on the field get up field so we have some really nice check down options guys and then we also have that delay chip and release from our tight end that you can work in as well all right guys now fl spot the adjustments for this play guys we want the running back to the wide side of the field same as the last one then we all we want to do is block our running back put the slot receiver on a streak and motion them over so the motion is going to be the exact same all you have to do is put them on a streak do not need hot route master now the reads for this play guys if it's cover three watch the outside corner if he turns and runs with the streak look to the flat defender now why this is important guys is if we notice we call this play and they are turning and running with our streak then we know they're deep having their corners and our pa digs isn't gonna work PA seems digs but if we notice I'll show you in the footage that their corners are stopping and playing on our corner route then we know that they're not deep and halfing their corners and then that PA seems digs is going to get wide open so that's why you kind of want to use these plays in unison honestly I'd probably start with this play see what their corners are doing and then that'll let you know can I go to that cover three beater so running back to the wide side of the field blocker running backs put slot receiver on a streak motion over now cover three watch the outside corner if he turns and runs to the streak look to the flat defender if he's not dropping super far deep guys I actually went in practice mode messed around with it you if they're at 25 yards you can still get in this deep corner so unless their drops are at 30 yards you can throw this corner out as long as if it's in cover three that corner is committing to the streak now if it's cover two look to the flat defender if not dropping 30 yards wait for open along the sideline same exact thing guys if it's cover two unless it's at 30 yards there their zone drops you can fire that in then look to the hook in the flats guys i really like this hook route even if they're double flatting this guy gets to a really nice area of the field the hard flat doesn't really come cover it it's only if one of the yellow like hook curls comes down to it or the user so really like this hook route and then if the user jumps to the hook look to the deep dig in the middle of the field Field. okay let's look at the gameplay for fl spot okay motion over guys same thing so as we can see it's gonna look very similar to that last setup very similar to a lot of our runs with the motion so right here we snap the ball guys wait for godwin to get up field now we're reading this corner this is cover three so as soon as i see him turn his hips and run with this player guys i know they are deep having their corner so this x is going to get wide open like this player is at maybe 15 20 yards and it doesn't matter like he's just absolutely wide open like i said unless they're at 30 yards you can fire that in toe tap along the sideline for a nice easy completion motion over here we go so this is cover two this time so once again guys this guy's committing to the you know this streak is going to take away that deep blue defender now this corner he's dropping 15 20 yards and that is not even close to deep enough as soon as we see that deep blue defender turn his hips and run with that player guys we know this deep corner is going to get basically open every time fire that in inside the 20 yard line okay one more time guys already had motioned over snap the ball 
So right here, they're playing hard flats once again, but the big one on this, guys, is watch the cover three corner. That's why I wanted to include this clip. Obviously, if it's a hard flat, you can throw this every time, but we see this guy turn and run, guys. Then we know this player is going to be open. The deep blue defender isn't going to, you know, make a play, and if he's turning and running, we probably can't call our beater, but I'll show you what it looks like if they are not turning and running so you know you can call your beater later. So fire that in right along the sideline nice and easy. Okay, now snap the ball, cover three again. So now watch the corner on this play, guys. He's actually settling, he's stopping. He's not running with that deep you know, streak down the field. So now we know that corner route's not gonna get open and our cover three beater probably isn't gonna be open either. So then we can move to some of our other stuff. Really like this. So obviously their flats are dropping back. Fire this in. Rack catch, get up field, put a juke and gain a first down on second and 12. Okay, here it is again, guys. Same thing, motion over. Right here, I just see everybody dropping back. Everybody's getting deep. So my eyes are probably gonna go off of X, our, our tight end. Looks like maybe a cover four. It looks like he even might have manned up the tight end. So now I'm really looking at the hook route and then the deep dig. We see the user kind of playing in the middle of the field. So I really like to playmaker this guy out also. Get him running out towards the sideline. Rack catch that. Get up field. And that's just a really easy complete. All right, guys. Snap the ball. So right here, it's actually cover four. So this player is going to do a good job in cover four of getting underneath our corner route from our tight end so now we're kind of playing a high low game with this hook route as you can see even when it, there's a hard flat on the field this route is not going to be covered so that's really going to hold the user here guys the user's really going to have to play in between these two he kind of commits there so now we can throw this deep dig right in behind his head possession catch it and get down same thing right here guys snap the ball right here hook Double flat, guys. We see this hook in the middle of the field just absolutely wide open. This just puts the user in a really tough spot. Is he going to stick with this or take the dig? Then once again, we can playmaker this player out. And as soon as someone sees a playmaker activate, guys, they're basically going to commit to that player. And that is just going to leave the whole middle of the field wide open. We can also see this player is committing to the streak. We probably could have thrown this corner out bit of a tight throw when we're getting that close to the end zone probably could have thrown it but throw that deep dig right in the middle of the field get down and that's like a 15 yard gain okay i wanted to show one clip against man coverage as well guys definitely these are zone beating plays if they're playing a lot of cover three especially this is when i'm gonna go to this but if they surprise us with man coverage we play short and elite on our tight end i go over that in the intro video guys he's gonna do a great job on this route against man coverage so he's gonna who i'm gonna go to first and then i would look at this back Side dig digs are always going to do pretty well against man but right here guys we see his ability activate he's basically got a route running you know speed boost against man coverage gets out of his break and i like to put some air under this ball tons of separation fire that in and that's like a 30 40 yard gain against man coverage so that is going to be our first read against man guys and then i would look to that backside dig all right guys that is it that is pa seems dig and fl spot two really good plays that are going to complement each other very well thank you guys so much for the support on the channel lately guys it's been absolutely awesome once again check the links in the description go follow me on tiktok and twitter go join my discord server if you guys are new you know sub down below if you enjoyed what you've seen here today do not forget to like this video that is gum y flex that is pa seems dig that is flanker spot spread playbook i'm king reggie and i'm out